Hey everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. We've got our first PR press release on a deal slash partnership after a while from Palantir. And I think bullishly, it's revealed to be a client building out their artificial intelligence platform. I'm not saying it's responsible for the huge run today in the price, but it is certainly good news for investors to have someone reveal and willing to do that, that they're working with Palantir's AIP and being such a large customer too, it could bring some confidence to the marketplace to at least give Palantir a chance or a trial run if you're a large customer yourself. So who is this partner? CNA, which is an international fashion retail brand which does business worldwide and online. To give some perspective, they are a large company with around 50,000 employees and 300 stores in at least Brazil. So to the extent that they're working with Palantir, they are using Palantir Foundry to improve their inventory processes with alerts to restock products in their portfolio and optimizing this for their best products. Now to quote the company, they're saying, we are the first Brazilian fashion retail brand to rely on this artificial intelligence technology. The flow developed allowed us to optimize and speed up the entire purchase process from the initial planning to sending the products to the stores. Among the significant gains, I'd highlight the increase of sales of products that were in stock and the reduction of unnecessary overstock. As a retailer, this is kind of the holy grail. You want to be able to sell the most of the best selling products until you fully meet that demand. If you run out of stock, you're missing out. And if you have inventory sitting in the wrong store or locations, then you also miss out on potential revenue because that could have been other products instead. So in the fashion industry, speed makes a huge difference because consumers love to see and feel the product and grow a connection to it, which is why you're actually encouraged to touch and feel clothes to help nudge you in the right direction of buying whenever you're in a retail store. And CNA really wants to take this to the next steps with artificial intelligence, because if you can preemptively or at least minimize the decision making time to send products to your different stores, reducing the number of days and hours can help organize and reduce mistakes of shipments, but also take advantage of these micro consumer sentiments that can be fleeting in fashion, especially when seasons change or even the daily weather changing. If you're outside and it's a little cloudy, it will change the habits of buyers compared to even on a sunny day. And what I like is they've been doing this over three months, probably working with Foundry and organizing their data first, setting up the foundation, setting up analyses and alerts. But now they're ready for the next step and to publicly declare that they want to run AI on this data. And what I think is so revealing is this quote. We formed a digital twin of the company's logistics chain, giving the planning teams not only a complete view of the purchasing process, but also the power to quickly simulate new rules and scenarios and thus prevent extreme situations. And that's explained by the head of Palantir Latin America, especially at the end with the simulating new rules and scenarios to prevent extreme situations. It almost sounds like AI can be used for predictive analysis, maybe in a short time frame. And when they say prevent extreme situations also, it's got to be on a sliding scale where they can get a picture of different levels of severity to situations and how their response can be tailored or quantified to each one of theirs and also the likeliness of each of those scenarios to occur. Like I said, days or even hours of response time and planning makes a difference, especially if a company is worldwide and maybe only using Excel or wasn't technologically invested very strongly before. It could be months or weeks saved or just taking out the guesswork, which hurts a lot of companies if you're actually wrong in the end. And what also adds onto this is that Palantir did mention in their last quarterly earnings report that international sales, especially on the commercial side and government side, aren't doing as well as the US. So to see an international deal like this and at a company of this size, and especially for their newest product of AIP, this is really good news for investors to see at least there's still progress happening outside of the United States. And you know, possibly this can reinvigorate growth again in this area. Because you know, once we get US up also, because that's very strong, but if you can combine that with international, then that's really going to help Palantir overall, of course, and that's very obvious. But yeah, hope to see artificial intelligence deals come out more, especially officially at this capacity with other large customers around around the world. I like this because it really solidifies that other big enterprises can take a chance or need to at least stay on par with their competitors around the world. Hopefully this can create a network effect if so many other companies are starting to use this, especially if we start to see progress with this specific customer in their financials or even just other press releases in the future that they're doing so much better and that their stores are performing greater. Or even if consumers or maybe other articles come out just saying that, wow, they're doing such a great job with their inventory. It always feels like they have the right clothes at the right time and they never run out, which would be something amazing if you can go to a store and always find something that you want 
especially for the business, right? That means you're really maximizing on the demand for certain items and minimizing the inventory and the stock of things that you know you need to get rid of or things that are not gonna sell at all. But let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.